Its latest heat outlook for May to October provides insights into the upcoming three to six months weather. During May to July, the early phase of the Caribbean heat season, the forecast indicates significantly higher than usual temperatures, accompanied by intense daytime and nighttime heat with humidity steadily rising from June to September. These conditions are likely to result in frequent and potentially prolonged episodes of heat stress, especially affecting vulnerable populations and small livestock due to the combination of high temperatures and increasing humidity through September. The outlook predicts 30 to 50 heat wave days in areas such as the Bahamas, Barbados, Trinidad and wind-sheltered parts of the Windward Islands. Speaking against the backdrop of the last Karakoff prediction, Terence Smith, acting general manager at the National Water and Sewage Authority, Nawasa, says they've been planning for a worst-case scenario. Um, we, we, we are aware that we're not sure what will happen after the end of May. Well, we're not sure what's going to happen even to the end of May. So somebody used the phrase, so we're planning for the worst, but hoping for the best. In other words, hoping for rain before the end of May. Um, we are, so it's, it's difficult to answer that question um, um, accurately, but um, uh, we are taking steps to engage with NADMA because we did discuss, you know, frankly, we have to assume that it would be very dry for uh, an indeterminate um, period going forward. So we will be um, engaging with NADMA. We plan to engage with the Royal Grenada Police Force, with the fire department, but we would probably try to do that through the NADMA framework. Yeah? Smith said Nawasa used the Karakoff prediction for its dry season preparations. We're aware of the, um, the prediction that was issued in, um, I think it was late February, early March, for the period March, April, and May to the end of May 2024. And uh, in that prediction, Grenada actually was not included in a drought watch or a drought warning. In fact, uh, that prediction indicated a 50% a chance that Grenada would have a normal dry season. A 30% chance that Grenada would have a wet dry season, in other words, a, a less severe than normal dry season, and only a 20% chance that it would be a severe or very dry dry season. So that is the, um, the basis that we use in, in, um, in updating our dry season response plan and so forth. Additionally, at least 30 heat wave days are expected in the Bahamas, Barbados, Belize, Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia and Trinidad. Some Caribbean islands have already issued heat wave advisories in response to these forecasts. Reporting for GBN News, I am Beverly Tillisford.